Okay, before I do this, huge thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Seriously, guys, thank you. We're gonna have some fun today. Okay, so I wanna be honest with you right off the bat, I absolutely love this setup that I have right here. Mainly because I can sit right here in this very chair and I have three different experiences. This is my gaming monitor, currently, well, at 60 hertz. Not really ideal. This is my editing monitor. It's a 4K LG panel that has great color accuracy for obviously making videos. And then up here, I've got an LG Ultra Wide. This setup is really, really good because it's got multiple use cases, gaming, working, and then this is just overflow space. I can do whatever I want here pretty well. But I do have to say, this setup looks nothing like this one. The wow factor really just isn't there. I think we definitely peaked in 2017. For the past two years, I've been telling myself, Alex, it's not about how the setup looks. It's about the functionality of it. And I've enjoyed that, but I kind of want to go back to making this thing look pretty. Okay, so definitely a younger version of me really cared about what people thought. I mean, heck, that's why I had that crazy setup with the three ultra wides. Did it look cool? Hell yeah. Was it practical? No, not really. There was far too much screen real estate, that much in fact that you couldn't really look. To look at one end, to look at the other, you were literally breaking your neck. But what I'm about to do today, I think, I think is gonna look absolutely awesome. The monitors are at the office, we need to go collect them, and I've also bought some other stuff which is in these boxes to overhaul the setup a little more. This is gonna be fun. Okay, so I don't think this is the monitors, obviously, but this is pretty cool, right? Not sure what this is. Not sure what this is, but it's from Asus, which is sick. But this, check this out. I swear that is Alan Walker's logo. You know, the artist? Anyway, we are not here today for that. We are here today to get these monitors. They're out there in the hallway. I've seen the size of the box, not sure if I made a mistake. I mean, I should have known this yesterday when I told my friend Dan that I'd ordered the monitors and he said this. Come on now, 64 inch of curvedness. You're a filthy man, you are. Filthy. I could literally fit inside of this box. Oh, sh I'm sorry, I have absolutely no idea who that was. He just asked if he could be in the video. So there you are, bro. Oh my God. This is a bit mental. Okay, so Dan was right. This is gonna be 64 inches, 32 plus 32, of curvedness across my desk. Is the desk even gonna be big enough? Who knows? What have I done? Feel like first, we need to rip the old setup apart and sort out some brand new cable management. thing is curvy. Whoa! Look at that! Look at the curve on that. That's unreal. I've got two of these. <laughs>
Okay, they're kind of heavy. Okay, so I've put a little marker right there, which indicates the center of the desk. So, you can see what this is going to look like once both the monitors are installed. Now, like the last two screens, they were both 32. These are both 32. They're really, really big and they were sort of getting in the way, you can see here, of the speakers. The desk just isn't big enough to accommodate everything. I'm literally over the moon with this. Look at that curve. Sick. Okay, so I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely over the moon with this. Before I turn the camera around, I just want to say that I haven't been this happy with my own personal setup literally since I lived at my last place. This is insane. Take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Look how clean the curve is. Oh my goodness, I am, I'm just over the moon with this. Even when you drop down low, you literally can't see any cables. I've done an awesome job at making sure they're all tidy and you can't see anything. My friend Ty actually bought me this wooden plaque for my desk. However, I've now retired it because it doesn't really work anymore. It had the Galaxy Alert and the Stream Deck sat on it, but now I think it just looks super clean with those here. And these two Samsung monitors as well just look absolutely awesome with this curve. I just, I hope it comes across on camera because in person, I literally, I just want to sit here all day. That's all I want to do. And obviously, I'm not sure if the camera will pick this up. Obviously, it won't do. But look how smooth these screens are. It's un real now the excitement continues because these are the Philips Hue play bars that I bought these look really really cool compared to the previous bloom lamps looks like they've got like screw mounts on but I think what I'm gonna do is just have them like that on the desk looking up at the wall as you can see there's already an LED strip behind there which is looking sweet and I also put an LED strip in that alcove round there which is giving me some bias lighting so there you can see I've got one of them just there looking up at the wall and then one over there. So if we go ahead and give this some power, sick. Okay, they are really bright. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, they are definitely about twice as bright as these old bloom lamps, which is definitely mission accomplished. Oh uh, yeah, that is it. That absolutely looks awesome okay so i want to give you guys a little bit of a tour round as to what we've done today first up obviously we've got the brand new monitors the odyssey g7s we've got 240 hertz 1440p on each monitor i'm stoked at this i've never had a monitor with a refresh rate as much as this and obviously with both the screens just being the exact same meaning this one and this one the curvature and just the ergonomics of this entire setup looks so so satisfying this thing just looks awesome to look at and then obviously this ultra wide here is curved as well which is helping i've got a enough screen real estate here for me to you know be able to use and also one thing that I absolutely love is there's not one part of the screen that's really really far away all of the screen is around here which I like we've installed the new play bars one there and then there's also one over there they do a good job of lighting the setup up and I can obviously go through the different scenes that I've set up in the Philips Hue app using the controller just to get loads of different looks basically 
I've moved and completely rejigged all of my streaming gear. So this is completely set up differently. I haven't tested it yet. I'm hoping this works. All of this stuff and this mouse, if you're wondering why I've got two mouses, basically that's my streaming PC for Twitch and that is my gaming PC. Now I want to talk about a few different cable management methods. If you just search on eBay or Amazon cable management organizers, you'll find something a little bit like this. It has this really long piece here and then basically you thread this through there and then if you've got loads of cables, this is why I like these, you can fit a load of cables in there. But if you've only got one or two cables, you just pull on that and then it gets nice and tight and you can literally have a tiny little thin cable in there. You can obviously undo it as well, which is my favourite feature about these. It's not like a cable tie, you've got to cut it. If you want to undo it to take your cables out, you just undo it. It has M3 sticky on the bottom and it also has a screw hole in there, which I would recommend you use so your cables don't fall down in six months time. This I know people are gonna go crazy about. I use this on my Go XLR for all of the peripherals on the desk, which I'll show you in a second. This is just called nylon, nylon, uh, nylon cable braiding, I think this is called. If you search it on eBay, you can buy it in basically big reels and then you cut it and then you can see here, you actually have to take a lighter to the end because otherwise, you know, you've got to burn the end of it. Otherwise it just all starts to come to pieces. Basically, anyway, if you push this together, it gets really thick. So this is the sort of, this is the sort of hack with this. You push it together, get it really thick, and when it's really thick, then you can push all your cables through. When your cables are through it, then you can pull it nice and tight, stick a cable tie on each end, and you're good to go. So as you can see there with the Go XLR, it runs off through the back of the desk. There's about six or seven different cables in that one white little sheet. So it makes everything look super, super streamlined. You know, instead of five or six black cables going off behind the desk, it's just that one white piece. So with that being said guys, I'm absolutely over the moon with this setup. Like I honestly could not be happier with how this has turned out. It is exactly what I had envisioned in my mind. I know if you were to look at the two setups before and after, it wouldn't look like that much has changed, but honestly, this thing has been flipped on its head. The new monitors are insane. My new peripheral setup is insane. I'm honestly, I don't know. Sounds weird to say, but I am just in a better headspace because of this setup, because of how this is laid out, and I can't wait to get back to streaming on Twitch. And with that being said, guys, we need to thank today's video sponsor, Squarespace. So if you guys take a look across my two screens right now, you can see this is one of my websites, and so is this. This is mmwifi.io. This is my wireless website for, well, me selling broadband to people. And this website, this is mars.media. This is my production company's website. And as you can see, the websites look absolutely stunning. These are my actual websites. And if you can go here, you see on the wireless website, we've got all these cool animations where things just sort of glitch in and fade in. It makes it look super, super sleek. Best part about all of this is, it literally takes five minutes to knock something like this up, right? This website literally takes five minutes because you just choose one of the thousands of templates that Squarespace have got, and then all you need to do is spend the time adding all your own information, like text and pictures, and that's pretty much it. You click save, jobs are good in. Your website is live. So if you guys would like to save yourself 10% on your first Squarespace purchase or domain, then please use my code MARSBAR or go to squarespace.com forward slash MARSBAR vlogs. With that being said, guys, this is sick. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, I can't let him take my soul.